Um, hello, I'm Ben and I'm here from Team November. I'm going to talk to you about our project, Database in the Clouds. So our client felt there was a gap in the market for a database solution aimed at non-technical users. The existing project products, um, Amazon Simple, uh, SimpleDB and LongJump, they were just too, too difficult to use. They were aimed at too, too complex, um, too, too technical users. We wanted our target audience to be a user who could edit a simple Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. And so we wanted our system to support Excel import and export so that they could work with their existing data. So we split our system into four components. We built a database abstraction layer on top of a MySQL database. We built a core system for database manipulation and search. And we built import and export modules. We, um, the whole system is accessed through a website designed to be heavily JavaScript reliant and run in a modern web browser. So first, schema creation. The main challenges here were to convey the ideas of types and relationships to the user. So on the top right, you can see the types um, palette. If you want to create a new, uh, a new collection, you drag types from the top right-hand side onto the collection area in the, in the, on the left. Um, so here we've got a number field and a date field. And also, you can create a relationship between the object you're creating and an existing object. So on the bottom right, we have the objects that are already in the system. If you drag one of these from the right into the main area, then you create a link between the two objects. The next area was input. And we want the user to be able to input from an existing um, CSV file or idealist spreadsheet to have automatic schema uh, recognition and to have batch data insert. We built this. We used a hierarchical type passing structure. You can import from CSV, and it will recognize the columns and add all the data. Um, next was insert. Um, we wanted to, for manual insert, we wanted to have um, a form with data entry through input widgets and client-side validation. Here we have this. So each different data type has its own widget. You can see at the bottom uh, different radio buttons. You can see um, validation messages for specific types. So the biggest challenge, technically and from a UI perspective, was search. We wanted to support features that are advanced, sort of advanced searching features such as ending and oring conditions and also um, querying on related objects, but also keep the user interface very simple and um, very clear. So here you see um, a, the search screen. At the top, there's a drop down menu for choosing the object you want to search on. So here we're looking for members. On the right, you see the members palette, which has all the fields of members, and you drag these into the area on the left. These create conditions. You also have or and any boxes, or all and any boxes that do oring and anding of conditions, and you build a kind of nested hierarchical, hierarchical structure for your query. You hit search at the bottom, and your results are displayed on the page. This shows I'm um, querying on related objects. So you've dragged in a driver object, and you want to find, and it's linked to a car. You drag in the car object, and then you drag in a field of car. So here we're searching for um, drivers who drive red cars. Right. Export was the last section. We wanted, we um, developed a generic exporter that would um, work with any, any search results, so whatever the user had selected. We implemented it as an HTML export, which you saw on the search page. We implemented a CSV export, a Microsoft Excel export, and also a JSON exporter. And we used this to implement our mail merge system. So you can create a template email, add in some tags, and it will preview. You'll see a preview of the emails, and you can click through and see all the different merged versions. In the bottom right, you can also see a um, Excel spreadsheet, and it's got native Excel formatting, so native styling and the correct kind of cell types. So what makes, um, what makes our product different? We've simplified the database model to do only the relatively simple tasks that our target audience would um, need to do. We've developed a usable and clear user interface, intuitive solutions for data types and for relationships, which we felt were two of the most challenging um, things for a non-technical user to grasp. And finally, we've made modular input and output systems which um, allow the user room for, allow room for expansion, for, room for further development, and room to increase the system's flexibility. Thank you for listening. <laughs>